there you go. Stories, not. Uh, you know what? Last night, I think it was last night, yeah, because I was uh, kicking back for a while. I tried to upload uh, demos, the Blizzard demos. I have 10 Blizzard demos. And it's mainly all you hear is the guitar and some drum and some Aussie scratch vocals. But apparently it's too close to uh, the real thing and I couldn't get it past the YouTube idiots. And they're all over me now. Now they're saying, well, you should have 30,000 subscribers. What? So I got to call them and, and figure this out so I can start you know, getting paid. Because you guys helped me out to get over a thousand and now they're pulling this horse shit screw youtube and i took a half hour survey because they wanted to know why i'm so upset with them oh really and i only got a half hour to do that so i ripped into them and then uh they blocked all of those randy demos and then i just put out an interview that was at the end of the tape because uh, I digitized this another tape I found and it was demo tape all the blizzard demos and I have never heard them online I mean I've had them but I, I guess some of you might have heard but they're really good like the one guy that did that he put it out like uh, uh, the unheard uh, crazy train thing it's just the first version of crazy train really with all the noises and stuff randy was doing with the guitar i put that goodbye to romance uh, suicide solution i don't know a crazy train uh, uh steal away revelation uh oh uh, uh, it was a demo of uh was the one that the guy said he didn't like but i said dude that's that's a good song oh well no bone movies which is actually better the demo is better than what is on the album i tried to get it up there for you guys but it didn't work so sorry about that i, I mean i uploaded five and i was doing the next five and they just were blocking them and blocking them and i couldn't get them through so you got the interview and I just threw it up there, you know, 82 interview, because that's the diary tour, 82. It didn't start, officially it started in 82. They had shows with the whole stage and everything. They were, I think, practicing. They did it down a sound stage down here. They did it at a plate, uh, the place out in uh, Orange, not Orange, but uh, not the Orange. Is it the Orange Pavilion? Maybe. And then... Uh, the, the Cow Palace is when this chick was interviewing uh, Randy. And it was for a radio thing, I, I'm pretty sure. But uh, I didn't even know that was on there. And I'm like, oh, well, I'll put this on there. And that's already got 100 views. And that's not even the whole interview. That's only like one little part. Like between commercials. And, and that's all I got on the tape. I have the whole interview, and I have the whole uh, interview on tape for the, his, for his Guitar Player Magazine interview. And you can hear Def Leppard playing, opening up. And pff, I don't know where the hell that one was. It, I thought it was Chicago, but I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, you know, whatever. There's your thing. The story is, I've started... Uh, filming the documentary dude this <laughs> this juice has got junk in it my glasses got a film on it there's a film on the lens here oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy, oh boy. anyways um so i started filming the documentary with uh, carlos knight and uh, we're gonna do our next one is on Wednesday, but we did one uh, yesterday. No, Thursday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So here we go, bro. Hopefully, this is gonna do it. I hope it's a nice guy. So you know, and this is the guy I wanted to do the uh, just the Spanish version. You know, to sell it to all the metalheads in South America and Mexico, but he wants to do it in English. 
So his son is going to come over because his son has been uh, off uh, doing stuff. So he's back. So there you go. I'm going to start doing it, man. We'll see what happens. I need to get hold of the masters for the trick or treat show. This idiot, Carpus Maxudian, the idiot. He gave the masters to me once, but I lost them. Actually, my last wife lost them. So I need to get those masters back because that's essential for you guys to see in this documentary. Because that is a real big point. I mean, we were going to tour Japan with Motorhead after playing three shows. And we were booked for six months and we had a showcase sitting at Audible re Rehearsal Studio waiting, waiting, waiting for Mandy to show up. Mandy Lyon never showed up. Another band, the Kingdom, Kingdom Come, two guys from Kingdom Come bought him out for $5,000. So he took $5,000 over a friggin' record deal we had and a tour to Japan. He's an idiot. He also blew the whole Iron Maiden tour. He blames on Tracy, but who made who was on tour with Dio for nine years? Not Mandy. He was out hiding. So his whole thing is BS, and uh, the guy lied. He's like a, not a perpetual liar, or a compulsive liar. I like him. We were good friends. It's just you know, I just see his lying and his denial of stuff, and I'm like, dude. You're an idiot, man. So I got to get that, and then I got to see who I'm going to have in it from Tr Fatal Attraction, you know. Because I want it to be good, and I want it to be interesting for you guys. And so I want to get this guy to interview as many people as possible. You don't want to hear just me talking, do you? And then see pictures and videos flashing up. Boring! And I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything like Motley Crue did, because then we got to hire actors. That's what I really would like to do, though. And I was going to do that, because there's a guy at my church, and he's a big actor. You all know him. He's been, he was in a goofy movie based in Idaho. Yeah. But, uh, you know, you know how that is. He's got enough time for SpongeBob, but not me. So, it's just... It's hard to put stuff together like that, especially with like a guy that's doing his own thing and like he is. Uh, I get it. Look what Motley Crue did. Look who they had to bring over guys from three of them, two of them, two of them are from Europe, and two here the Vince Neil and the Mick. Or no, not Mick. Uh, Tommy guy was a rapper, and Vince, I don't know who the Vince Neil guy was. If I could do that, but I'm not telling the story of one band. I'm telling the story of me and all the bands I was in. So that's actually like five bands. <sighs> all right, so that's it. No real news. Uh, I went to Nam uh, th Thursday, and I was there for an hour, and I went and I got back in my car and split.